Hey guys, I'm Mark with the Tractor Tread YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the mower deck on a Cub Cadet XT2 LX42 with a manual PTO. It's real easy and I'm going to show you how. You can remove the mower deck without using any tools, but to make things easier, I'll be using a pair of needle nose pliers. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure that the tractor's turned off and on the right hand side on the fender, you have two levers, one to raise and lower the mower deck and another one for the PTO. So we're going to take the lever for the mower deck and lower it all the way down and make sure our PTO lever is in the off position. There's only a couple items we need to remove in order to remove the mower deck. There'll be two pins, one on each side on the rear hangers, a pin up on the front rod. There's another quick pin that's holding on a cable and we'll need to remove the mower belt. With the mower deck lowered all the way down, the first thing we'll do is remove the pin on the right hanger. And you can do that with your hand just by simply twisting the pin a little bit, pulling it outward, and it'll pop right out. Now we'll go to the left-hand side of the tractor on the lifting frame, grab a hold of the pin, twist that a little bit, and we'll slide that right out. And we'll go underneath the front of the tractor, and there'll be a rod. This rod's for adjusting the front of the mower deck. And at the end of the rod, we have a pin, and there's two holes. One's marked 46, the other one's marked 42. We'll make sure that the rod goes back in the hole marked 42 since we have a 42 inch mower deck. So now let's go ahead and twist the pin and we'll remove the pin and then we'll just lay the rod out of the way for now. To make it easier to slide the lift links out of the way, we're going to go ahead and raise the mower deck into the second position. Now we can go back to the right hand side and grab a hold of the lift link and slide it off the pin. And we'll go back to the left hand side. We'll pull that link off the pin, move that out of the way. We don't need the lift links in our way, so we'll raise the mower deck in the highest position. It's time now to remove the belt, and we're going to leave the belt on the mower deck. We're going to take it off of this pulley underneath the engine here, and there's a belt retainer in the way. You can remove this bolt right here with a 516 socket and slide this rod out of the way and remove it if you like. We're going to leave the rod attached. If we go to the left hand side of the frame, just underneath the engine, you'll see right where this retainer sticks out of the frame. And if you push really hard right here and downward, that'll move that retainer just out of the way far enough we can get our belt off. With the retainer pushed down out of the way, now we can slide our belt off and slip it right in between the pulley and the retainer. Now you'll have to be very careful, but we can slowly slide the deck just a little bit. You still can't remove the mower deck until you remove this cable right here. And there's a pin holding on the cable. Now we'll twist our pin, slide it out. With the pin off, now we'll be able to pull the cable through the mower deck. Slide that off to the side. Now we can slide the deck from underneath the tractor. Give us a little bit more room. And we still have to remove this spring right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to push on this idler right here. That'll give us enough room to remove this spring. Once we push the idler pulley, it gives us plenty of room to remove the spring. With everything unhooked, now we can move the lower deck out from underneath the tractor. With the mower deck removed, now we can go ahead and remove this rod just by sliding that out the front. You can take that off if you'd like to mount up a snow plow or a snow blower. With the mower deck removed, now you can check over your belt, your idler pulleys, and you can lift the deck up and clean out from underneath the deck. To install the mower deck, we're just going to do the same procedure but in reverse. While we have the deck out from underneath the tractor, now's a good time to show you how to hook up the spring and how to hook up the cable. You want to push on this idler pulley. And that will move that arm out far enough to where you can slide that spring right into that slot. When you release the idler pulley, the spring will lay underneath this rod and underneath the belt and it will hook right into here. After you have your spring connected, you can push on the idler pulley again. And what you'll do is you'll feed the cable through this slot right here on the right hand side hanger. And once that comes through, you'll be able to take your quick pin and pin it. This is what the end of the cable looks like. That's the hole where the pin's going to go through, and that's what the spring looks like. Now we want to slide the deck in just far enough so we can hook up our spring. Now.
Now we're gonna push on the pulley to hook up our spring. With the bracket pushed all the way back, now you can slide your spring in like that and hook it right up. Once you have your spring hooked up, you can reach underneath there, push on the pulley if you need to, and slide your cable right through the slot. And now we'll push our pin right into place with the spring hooked up underneath the belt, underneath the rod, we have our clip in place. Now we can slide the mower deck back underneath the tractor. Take our belt, slide it through the belt guide, back onto the pulley. We're gonna push right here on the belt guide to get it to come back through the hole. Don't forget to put your belt guide back in place or else the belt can slip off and you could break a belt. Now it's time to put the front rod back into the hole that's marked 42. And we'll install the clip. We can go back up on top of the fender on the right hand side and lower the mower deck all the way down in its lowest position. We'll install the lift links on each side. Make sure you don't forget to install the lift link on the left side. And now we'll install the clip on the left hanger. Then we'll put the clip back on the lift frame on the right hand side. And that's it, it was pretty easy. We got our mower deck back on again and we're ready to go mow. And so that's how you remove and install the mower deck on the LX42 with the manual PTO. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. You can also join my Facebook group. That's Tractor Tread Use Tractors for Sale. I'm Mark with the Tractor Tread YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next one.